Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. <laughs> They're back. They're raring to go. Here's MK. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, you guys. It's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts. Gosh, I feel like it's been so long since I did a live feed. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not too rusty. And actually, as I wait for people to come on, I'm just going to, my camera seems like it's a little bit crooked. I don't know. <laughs> There we go. Hi, Sherry Quaid. How are you? Happy New Year. Hey, Patty. Oh, here we go. All right. They so must have missed us. <laughs> well, I missed you guys, so I hope you missed us a little bit. You know, the break that we took uh, was the longest bit of vacation away from the studio that I really, that I think that I've ever done. Uh, as you know, my mom and dad, what? I'm just waving. They're oh. all saying hi. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so as you know, my mom and dad came for the holidays, and I think they got here on like the 19th of December, and pretty much I closed down shop, and I just spent time with them. My mom and I did a little sewing from the house. I know that I posted a bit about that. Uh, so really, this long stint of vacation was really needed, and it, we enjoyed it so much. But we are so happy to be back in the studio. You know, Paul the other night was saying how excited he was for 2019, and he was just really, really looking forward to getting back to work. So we have hit the road running. We just want to, you know, wish all of you a very happy new year. And uh, I want to start really quickly with just another thank you for so many of you who reached out and asked to follow us through our travels through the Holy Land. And I had created this separate group and you guys, you know that I'm like the social media geek, right? <laughs> and so I took the lead on the social media for our trip with the, the group that we were traveling with and they were so appreciative. But I got to tell you what, you guys were the ones, the first ones to sign up. I think there was like 150 of you in one day. <laughs> <laughs> that asked asked to sign up. So thank you for following along with that. Thanks for your thoughts and prayers. I did want to mention to you, hopefully you saw in the group, Paul bought um, some special little trinkets while we were traveling. And he just really took that upon himself. He, he felt that in his heart that he just wanted to, you know, maybe get you guys something. And so he got some very small items that he would like to include for free with your next purchase from anything off the store from MK Quilts. So there's four different types of pendants. Just go to our home page, click on the picture, you can see the different types. And uh, a few people missed the part about we'd like to ship it with something else so that we, you know, don't have to pay another three bucks for it. But they are free. Please choose one. If you have somebody special in mind that you think needs another one, I might make a special. <laughs> <laughs> allowance there which I have we have a few extras here and there that we can share as gifts for people but check yeah. them out so we had a fantastic time I tell you Paul and I are still dragging a little bit trying to readjust to the time differences but uh, we are here we are ready to go and uh, let me tell you what I have hit the road running so let me just kind of go through my list here and then we promised you last year that we were gonna change it up just a little bit with our live feeds so let me just make that announcement what I am planning to do for you uh, this this year with live feeds is include some tips and tricks and techniques at the end of the video okay so when I normally go to show you what's on the frame sometimes I'll show you a little tidbit of something okay so I'll try to you know think up things in advance or if you have things that you would like me to include in my tips and tricks uh, segment of the live feeds let me know now some of the items that I'm planning to include in that might be simulation related stuff so in that case what I might do is say okay right immediately after the live feed I'm gonna post something a, a little snippet video or something okay so all of that is yet to unfold fold we'll kind of let that happen as it happens but I'm excited to kind of get back to my roots right showing you things showing you how to use your system better and I I just must stop for a second because I forgot to mention one final thing from our trip <laughs> Paul's holding up a couple of trinkets that we bought while we were there okay well officially I thought this represented Melissa her <laughs> flute playing she's an angel and, and just makes beautiful music <laughs> Paul together. got that for me. Wasn't that sweet? So 
I think something we might use these symbols on our website a little bit, but I thought this one represented me a lot better. Okay? I'm a service animal. You can call me a donkey or you can call me something else. But that together you might see these around uh, a little bit just uh just to put a little flavor to, to so our I, I must share just a little piece of this story. I haven't even really shared this with Paul, but when we were preparing for our trip, I knew that we were going to be changing hotels and getting on and off buses, and I really was trying to think through my packing, and I really wanted to make it so that what I packed, I could carry or transfer or haul around. <laughs> yeah. Paul, did that happen? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I uh, I was a pretty much a pack animal for most of the trip. And I appreciate that so much, honey. Yes, I dear. really do. Okay, so enough about that. All right, so we, that's the first announcement is about the tips and tricks segment that we would like to add to the live feeds. And uh, yeah, we'll just let that unfold. Today, I have just a really quick little thing to show you. I have a quilt loaded, so we'll get to that at the end. Okay, the next thing that we need need to announce is kind of a big one and I don't know I, I don't want it to be a negative thing or a sad thing but we do have an announcement to make about our cruise 2020 or the lack thereof <laughs> okay you guys um as you know late in the year last year we decided to uh, cancel cruise 2019 just because the numbers weren't there and as we thought about about the cruising and just about who was reaching out to us about the cruising, we really kind of came to the determination that maybe that was a little bit lofty of a plan for MK Quilts. And we decided that it was not an event that was going to really be something that was a good use of our time. Okay, so we have decided to scratch the cruising with MK. So. Yeah, so for 20, I mean, we've talked to most of the people that had to cancel the other one and tried to make it right, as we've said before. Um, that's not to say if we go on a cruise like we might do in November for our anniversary through the Panama Canal that we might not let you know so that you can book it and come along. And it's always fun to talk to, to MK about what she does and things, but... When it comes down to dealing with all the complications of these cruise ships, do they have power for everything? You can't bring on scissors unless you check them in and, you know, it just was way too much hassle as we got into it. We'd rather spend our time on getting together in other ways. Yeah, so, you know, we apologize for that. I, I know maybe there were some of the, you that were looking forward to that. However... What we would like to do, and it's probably not going to happen this year. As you know, I'm already booked solid for the whole year of traveling. But maybe in 2020, as our business continues to grow this year and as we bring on new owners and, you know, we may plan some sort of an event for here in Florida where it can be more of like a long arm focused event. Maybe I'll bring in an educator. Maybe we'll do art and stitch. You know, maybe we'll just combine it and have it be like like a four day something or other uh, okay so keep watching for that we don't have anything or dates or whatnot to announce about that but that's kind of what we're thinking rather than try to tote all of this stuff <laughs> to a port and get it on the ship how about y'all just come to Florida okay come and see me where I work and live and we'll just make it a fun event here in Florida and we can do some sightseeing and we can do some shop hopping and we can do a lot of things okay so be watching for that but cruise 2020 not going to be happening okay it be nice if you were getting more quilt floor models quilt machines here <clears throat> oh it would be really nice yeah, if i was nice getting too. more floor models oh i am getting more floor models here <laughs> so right before we left i think it was like the day or two before we left my Amara was delivered. So McMara is going to be joining the crew here at MK Quilts. We cleaned out a spot for her the other day, but we've got so much going on that she's not set up yet. Next week. Next week. Okay, next week. she's she, she's on the to-do list for next week. So I'm really super happy to be bringing on another machine so that I have, uh, you know, more options for people here locally. Paul and I are doing a quilt show at the end of the month, and we're just kind of thinking through what our or who our uh, target audience might be at that 
uh, show. You know, I love my infinity, but last year when I took the infinity to a quilt show, I think that's a little bit overpowering, a little bit overwhelming to take that huge machine to a show. So we're looking to back down a little bit for the show kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so maybe I'll get a sit down model in here too. Who knows? We're just going to play it by ear this year and uh, see how that goes. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was my events for this year. And, you know, as last year came to an, uh, to an end, I really, you know, I thought ahead to 2019 and I just, I recapped 2018 in my head and just, I, I just remembered on all of the fun that I had meeting all of you and going around. And so I just decided that I really wanted to make 2019 another year where I'm out and about. I'm meeting you where you're at, okay? So just before I hopped on today for the live feed, I booked another event. I've got one more that's close to being closed, and I have another one as maybe a piggyback. Okay, so let's, I'm not going to go through all of them. All of the website or all of the events are up on the website, so you can head on over there. But I want to talk to you about the ones that I just added and an extension perhaps for Carson City, okay? Okay, so the one that I just added today is going to be in September, middle of September, I think it's the 13th and the 14th, up near Mobile, Alabama. Okay, so I have a friend and a, an owner up there. She actually was here recently um, having some service done on her machine, uh, but we talked about that. We were able to zero in on a date. So that's going to be, again, another two-day Pro Stitcher Sim Style event near, it's east of Mobile, Alabama. I think it's Daphne is the name of the town. Okay, but I've already got people uh, really interested in that, and Mr. MK will get that up on the website, or did you already? No. Okay, so he will get that one up on the website. Okay, the other one that I'm working on for the fall is in Wisconsin, near Stevens Point, Wisconsin. That is, we're shooting for middle part of August, okay? If you remember from last year, I had a huge trip that I did in August. I think I hit three three uh, different locations, including a trip to Minnesota to see my family. And that's always a good and easy thing for me if I'm traveling in the Midwest, upper Midwest, that I can just zip home, see my family in the summertime, right? <laughs> okay, so keep your, keep your eyes open for that one. Stevens Point, Wisconsin area, and uh, then I'll be in Minnesota. Maybe we can work something out for Minnesota. Okay, so that's August. August, Wisconsin, September, Alabama. Uh, let's see. Carson City, Nevada, which is being held in June. That is my event that sold out the fastest. And I had people saying, oh, I really, really wanted to get in on the Carson City, Nevada. So here is what I am willing to do. And I'll post about it separately so that people can say yay or nay. My host is willing to extend... I am willing to stay a few extra days, which would mean that I would hold another two-day event, but it's going to be after the weekend, so that would be a Monday and a Tuesday, okay? So uh, I don't have the dates written down here right in front of me, but it's early June, and I will go ahead and make a separate post about it, reopening Carson City, Nevada for a Monday and a Tuesday, but I'm going to need you to sign up right away, okay? I, I really need firm commitments for these because I have a piggyback event that I am looking to do in the Rochester, Washington area, okay? That is just south of the Seattle-Tacoma area. So if you want me to stay in Carson City, I'm going to be all the way out there out west. I am willing to stay. But if you do not commit to the Carson City extension, then I'm going to work myself out to the West Coast. Paul and I actually have family out there in the Seattle area, so that would be a really awesome thing for me uh, to get out there. The event in uh, Washington would be at a Handy Quilter location, okay? So I would be there as a guest to another Handy Quilter retailer, all right? So that is what I've got coming up. By October, Paul and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary this year, our 30 year wedding anniversary, and we've got some friends that are planning a cruise in November. So that takes me all the way, basically you guys, one a month, one a month training somewhere in the United States. Just as I'm thinking of that, if there is anybody watching who would like to tag on to my event out in Highland, 
Utah. That is just south, about 30 minutes south of Handy Quilter property. If you are interested, I have a couple of spots left for Highland, Utah. Okay, we are going out there for a new owner install, and I would love to just have you come and join me. Paul's just going to be there a short bit, setting that baby up, and then I'm staying for training. Following shortly after that is an event here in Florida. It's uh, the 15th and 16th of February in the Villages here in Florida, okay? All, again, all of that information is up on the website, and I am so looking forward to meeting so many of you this year as I travel about the country. All right, so that takes me through that. Anything about that, Mr. MK? Nope, I got two <laughs> items. Okay, Thread Club. Let me, let Paul talk about Thread Club. Yeah, that's first one. Okay, we we're getting back in the middle of the month. If you haven't chosen your colors, I think I have about four people that already submitted their colors for this month. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, we run an Omni, Omni V thread. No, Omni, not the not variegated. Not variegated, yeah, variegated. <laughs> no, don't Just the Omni that. solids. Just the Omni solids, which Melissa uses. And the uh, the deal is, you get a good discount. And what's different from other thread clubs is we don't just ship you what we have in overstock. We, uh, we'll actually make special orders and make sure you get the uh, the spools that you need. So please take a look at that. Three spools a month. Um, it's one of the reoccurring things. The Your up, other thing is not written down. I have Yeah, well, two popped in my oh. head. Um, <laughs> one, over. The, I wanted to let people know that over the next week or so, we are... Because we are now MK Quilts LLC, we're changing our business structure. We're also going to be change, uh, changing our uh, merchant exchange, meaning right now everything goes through PayPal. Um, we're, we've got a real business account with Chase now, and I'm going to be integrating that into the website. I'll try not to cause any problems. Uh, we'll be working things through there, but I know we have some issues periodically with PayPal right now um, and some users. So we are we are growing so fast we needed to put some structure and things in there. And that leads into something I wanted to make a little short announcement. Didn't think I would announce it, but we are selling machines now more around the country. As you can hear, Melissa's traveling a lot because we include a uh, a full day of training with Melissa with every new machine, which keeps her bouncing around. That being said, I am looking for retired engineers, mostly uh, husbands of quilters that at least know what a quilt machine is, because what we'd like to do is start establishing contractors around the country that can install the machines for us and also do um, emergency service. Uh, we have targeted April to take several several people to Utah for training and I might just go along with. Um, so we are trying to clone me. We can never clone Melissa, <laughs> but there's a lot of work in the background with the business and um, so if you know of anyone, we already have two or three candidates here. We're talking about, you know, it'll depend on, you know, where machines land and other stuff. And maybe it'd be a good extra money business for somebody who's retired and pretty good with their hands. I will be publishing a sort of a requirements outline for how we think it's going to work. But our hope is that we can provide some MK Quilt standard service out there with a few other people so that uh, so that thing, we can do more and we can yeah. spend more time and keep Melissa from having to deal with all this other stuff. So. so it's a really, it's, you know, I've been in business now with MK Quilts. This is my 11th year and we're just now getting into where it's, it's grown and kind of snowballed and expanded to the point where we need accounting help. We need people to help us with shipping. We need, you know. So obviously, you guys, if you're interested or you know somebody that's interested in what Paul was talking about, you would clearly be compensated for your time and travel. Uh, we would uh, 
you know, foot the bill for you to go to Handy Quilter to get certified for that, okay? So that is all coming down the pipe, and that is a good problem to have. Handy Quilter is very much behind us being national retailers, but as such, we need to have the commitment there that if you have an issue or a problem or something, that we need to support you where you are. And we are committed to that, but we may not be able to be the ones every single time, 100% of the time, to be showing up to help you if there's an issue, okay? So I know that some of you were putting the brakes on me last year about, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready yet. But you know what, it's a new year. And in a new year, Handy Quilter always comes out with you know some new promotion. So I just posted or pulled down the promotion that they have going on right now. So if it's time for you to pull the trigger right now, what they have is, um, some promotions that are equivalent to what they're calling their 2019 sales. So $20.19, <laughs> seriously, for shipping. Probably anybody of you who's watching me for that are most likely not going to be interested in the other items because the other items are like quilt from the back kit, channel locks, those electronic uh, channel locks, true stitch for the sit down machine. You guys know we focus on pro stitcher here. So if you're ready to pull the trigger on a new machine with pro stitcher, we can get you all what we just talked about set up all my training and all of that. I come to you where you're at. Plus you're going to get shipping for $20 and 19 cents. I'm going to pay the 2019 on any machine oh. under this program. So it's free shipping. It's let's free not, shipping. Let's not be we'll cover either. your shipping. We got you covered. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's a really good promotion to start out the year. Okay. Is that it, Paul? Yes. I think it's it. And oh, Sammy I, can... Sammy's going to have to be put down because what I want to do now is show you what's on the frame. And then I'm going to show you my first little tip at the machine for 2019. Okay, Paul's got a call coming in. We, oh. Now we can, oh yeah, we can do it from our little Apple Watches. Apple Watches. Aren't we cool? She, she wanted it, actually. That was, <laughs> I that did. Was good. Okay, so can first you of all. Flip the camera on that or not? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, uh, I think I can. <laughs> all right, I'm going to cover it here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now let's. Okay. There we go. All right. Let me take it first. Okay. Okay, so first over here on uh, McForte is a beautiful quilt that I finished when I was on retreat last year. And it's a Missouri Star Quilt uh, Company quilt. And it's really hard to see just as I'm looking through the camera lens right now, but it's these big, huge stars. And I've been working up a layout for that. Uh, so keep watching for that. This is my own quilt, so I can take my time and plan some pretty spectacular quilting on there. Okay, let me just cover up the, the lens while I turn so that I don't make you dizzy. Okay, over here on McFinity is another one of my own quilts. And, you know, you guys, McFinity doesn't see much panto work, but over here today, she's going to be um, stitching out a panto. And I'm going to give Paul the, the phone and camera now so that I can walk you through um, a little bit of air stitching. All right, so sometimes, you guys, when I get to where I'm going to be stitching a I think it's backwards. Aren't we dealing with backwards there? No. Is, I don't know, is it? Yeah, see? Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is, this is our um, first time at doing this. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We don't want you to have to like flip it in your head, right? Okay, so I am getting ready to stitch a pantograph today. And it's a pantograph that I have never stitched before. Now, all of you all know clearly, I have a whole like two, two and a half hour class on how I do pantographs. But on a pantograph that I've never used before, I am not familiar with how densely that pantograph is gonna stitch. So I use the air stitch function quite heavily when I'm dealing with a pattern that I've never stitched before. And I still get plenty of people that are like, what is air stitching? So basically what air stitching is, is the machine will move, but the needle will not be going. So I have pulled up this pattern. It is called Hawthorne Edge to Edge by Christy Dillon, imagine that. And the first thing that I do when, when I open a pantograph that I've never stitched before is I look to see how high it is at its default size, okay? So this one is 10 inches tall. So I take a glance at the pattern and I, I also usually have my um, measuring tape around my neck. Paul used it earlier, so I don't have it. But a lot of times I'll take my actual measuring tape and I'll look and see what does 10 inches look like on 
the quilt. The next thing I do is I'm going to go to air stitching and I'm just going to let the machine run through the pattern without the needle going. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of put the machine any old place, kind of in the middle. The start point on this pattern happens to be in the middle of the pattern. So I'm just going to do a modify reposition on start point and I'm going to refresh. Then I'm going to go under Pro Stitcher Quilt and over here I'm going to turn off the stitch button. That's going to allow me to run my machine and as the machine is running without the needle going, I am following the pattern on the quilt, I'm following it with my eyes and I'm making a determination about size. Now here's the thing on this pattern. Usually, probably I would say nine times out of 10, I am gonna take a pattern from its original size and I'm gonna make it smaller because I like dense quilting. I like pretty um, tight quilting. Now, just on this first part of this pattern, it's got some curly cues and that seemed like a very, very tight little curly cue. I'm not sure that I want it that tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a modify resize. I'm gonna resize it on the height, I'm gonna lock the aspect, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to 12. Now that's not that big of a difference, but let me just go again, do the modify reposition on start point. I'll just refresh, and then again, I'm gonna let it stitch without the machine actually stitching. And I'm watching the pattern, it's coming into a little curly cue. And I think that looks pretty good. One other thing I want to show you, the curly Q looks good to me. There's a flower in here and it's got some kind of back and forth in and out. It's not really overstitched, but it's, it's some pretty tight little in and out there. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a pro stitch or new start and end. Start auto on, start auto off. And then I'm going to run it from the flower. And I'm going to see just how tight those little spines of that flower are. And it looks like I missed the mark on the flower. Okay, so sometimes that happens. Let me pick a different spot. Pro Stitcher, new start and end, start auto on, start auto off, and let's see if I can get a part of that flower. Okay, and that looks, it looks pretty good. I think it's still a little bit tight. So what I'm gonna do on this pattern, I'm gonna resize it one more time here at the machine. I'm gonna do modify resize. I'm gonna go ahead and make this 13. I'm gonna save it here at the, at the uh, machine, but then I'm gonna take it over to my computer where I can just sit down for a minute and do all of my setup of this pantograph in simulation. Okay, that's my deal. Now, could I stand here and do all of this setup at the quilt? Obviously, yes, I could. But I would rather just go have a seat. I've got a tea going over there. I'm going to sit down with my simulator. I'm going to get this pantograph preset. I'm going to connect some rows together. Actually, I may not be able to do that on this one because it's pretty tall. I'm not going to, you know, be able to get probably two passes in my throat depth. But I'm going to go, I'm going to make all those setups, all of that. I'm going to save it so that next time I go to use this pattern, I don't have to do all of those things. Okay, so that is how I work with pantographs, uh, and especially on a new pantograph, air stitching is definitely your friend. <laughs> Sammy, do you have something to say? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, why aren't you holding me, Dad? Okay, thanks for joining us on this very first live feed of 2019. Remember, you guys, if you want me to cover anything in my tips and tricks and techniques, segment of the live feeds, let me know. Just remember, sometimes they might be live, sometimes they may be pre-recorded, and I'll just drop them in right after the live feed. That means I got more work to do, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys, Happy New Year. Thanks for everything, and until next time, from my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye. How do I stop this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, finish.